What I would have told myself if I was starting over as a programmer today. If you want to avoid years of time wasting and frustration and really just skip to the end of the line and accelerate the pace of your education, then watch this video to the very end and really take on board the lessons that I'm going to be laying out here. Anyways, let's get started. So you might be asking yourself, why listen to me? And my response to that would be because I've probably written code that is on your phone right now or on your desktop computer right now. I've worked with Fortune 500 companies, uh, the top companies in America. They build applications. Those applications are used by people like you and therefore I've had a small part in contributing to those code bases. So hopefully that gives you an idea of my level of expertise and experience. Number one, when at all possible, learn by doing. The problem with courses, books, classes, formal education, rubrics, syllabus, etc., etc., is that by the time they are created, they are to some extent outdated. Problem number two is they may teach you things that are not required for what you're trying to do. Let's Draw an analogy real quick. Say I'm trying to master the instrument of guitar. If I want to learn how to play jazz guitar, do I need to learn how to play death metal? No, but I may, if I were to pick up a class or a course off the shelf, there may be lessons in there that are centered around a style that is not relevant to me. Well, that example gets magnified a thousandfold in the world of programming. There are languages, frameworks, uh, front end, back end, different components. There are all different things that may not be relevant to what you're trying to do. Super quick, if you like this video, go ahead and make that like button blue so we can get this video out to a larger audience. Okay, so next up, you're gonna have to learn to embrace change. You know, there are many virtues of programming and that lifestyle and the career in general, but stagnation is not one of them. You know, it's in the nature of technology to be ever evolving and changing and, you know, you're on the vanguard, you're on the frontier. So uh, new things are always coming down the pipe, uh, old things are becoming outdated and irrelevant and you're gonna have to learn to adapt. You're gonna have to learn new skills that become necessary for your job function. But here's the kind of saving grace and the salve of it all. Most people do not give themselves enough credit about their own ability to learn new skills and master new domains. You know, if you were to give me eight hours to learn some new framework that I've never been exposed to, in one day, in that period of time, I could probably begin to grasp the broad strokes of what it's all about. And then, you know, turn that into a weekend or turn that into a week, I could probably become pretty proficient in that. You know, I think a lot of it is people don't want to do it. They don't want to have to learn new things. And that's the problem. But you know, you don't get that luxury in programming because you're just going to be one-upped by your peers who are introducing more efficient ways of doing things, faster ways of doing things, newer technologies, et cetera, et cetera. And I will say in my career, about every two years, I've had to learn something significantly new. Um, some significant body of new knowledge I've had to um, become uh, familiar with. But it feels good. It feels like I'm getting caught up. And you, what you get out of it is you get better ways of doing things. Like there's a reason the technology is evolving. So you're just gonna have to take on a mindset um, of a beginner's mind continually throughout the duration of your programming career. Next up is mind your toolkit. So as you begin programming, you're gonna begin collecting all these little programs or ideas or concepts or snippets or hotkeys or uh, plugins and all these little ways of doing things. And what I want you to do is to constantly make sure that you have the sharpest tools in your tool belt. 
You know, I can remember um, having had done things for, you know, almost years and it wasn't until a colleague or a friend of mine during like a code pairing exercise pointed out that the way I was doing things was redundant or uh, circuitous or unnecessary in some way. And they gave me a new way of doing that same thing. And for me, it was a breakthrough. I mean, I was just spending all this time doing something that ultimately was unnecessary. The problem here is it's a blind spot. Like you don't know what you don't know. You know, maybe you're using some sort of server software right now that is just 10 times more cumbersome than uh, the latest thing out there or just you know maybe some other more appropriate solution you know you get caught up in your own sort of myopic ways of doing things and you miss out on ways to accelerate um, how f your, your ability to be productive. This is really um, a, a call to action for staying on top of uh, latest technologies and just educating yourself and, and talking with your colleagues and doing things like code pairing exercise, seeing how other people do things. You know, some things that I can think of right now um, that I was missing out on was um, JavaScript introduced a concept called async await that was pretty groundbreaking for a lot of the code that I was doing and I was late to that party. A uh, git, I always had trouble using git from the command line and then a friend pointed out that I could just use their desktop application <laughs> which uh, made it like 10 times easier for me. Things like text expander which is a way to uh, program into your computer shortcuts like um, you know, backslash T could expand into a function that you use, you know, a hundred times a day. And this really helps increase um, your, your ability to be productive. So uh, be mindful of the tools that you're using and just make sure that you have the best tools at your disposal. All right, so the final thing I wanna leave you with is just, let's take a step back for a second. What is programming? It's a skill set. You're gonna learn many skill sets in your life. And I think what you'll find is a lot of the benefits, a lot of the value of having a skill set is backloaded. In the infancy of your development of the skill set, it's going to be clumsy, it's gonna be frustrating. You're not gonna be able to have a lot of practical, pragmatic uh, uses for the skill. It's just gonna kind of be rote, uh, a lot of practice, honestly. But as you get better over years, and really when you hit that like 10 year mark, you just become fluent. And you do get to that point where, for instance, with the analogy I gave about guitar, I mean, I can just put on a backtrack or you can put a band behind me and I can have no uh, previous knowledge of what they're playing and I can just begin soloing over it. And that's kind of what I always wanted to be able to do with guitar. I just wanted to be able to play uh, improvisationally over other music. And now I can do that. And it's so much fun, it's artistic expression, creative, it's really more enjoyable now than it was ever before. Uh, likewise with programming, you know, I'm at a point now where I can kind of just tinker around with new projects. Like I'm working on a project right now that incorporates uh, computer vision, um, it incorporates optical character recognition, AI, JavaScript, HTML, uh, Canvas elements. It's a confluence in, of a number of different technologies and I was able to create a very sophisticated project in really several hours. Like this project I'm showing you right here, created in five hours maybe. That's where you get. So just keep in mind that, you know, there's that pain period, there's that dip that you're gonna have to get through. And when you do get on the other side of it, it's amazing. Like even right now with my skill set with programming, you know, one of the benefits is I don't really have to worry about having a job, you know, for the most part, which 
is such a luxury. It's, it feels so good to, to know that I have that sort of security and that sort of self-sufficiency to, um, to take care of myself based on a skill set that I've grown and sharpened to such an extent that the value I can render with it is uh, pretty impressive. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about these rules. Let me know how your journey is going. And as always, stay hungry.